Hi, welcome to poem four of 100 poems in 100 days. Sorry about the uh, late uploading time, but I've spent all of today here in the Broadway Theatre in Catford, in the nice studio theatre, because as some of you may or may not know, as well as poetry, uh, I'm also an actor, and more specifically an actor combatant. So I'm doing the fights for a new production of Macbeth here at the Broadway Theatre in Catford, London. So if you fancy coming along in February time, that would be absolutely brilliant. Anyway, to continue on with the fourth poem. Is it wrong for me to want to see our child in you? To see you swell with that potential pride I see inside every time you close your eyes and sigh. Maybe it's true. That five weeks, five months, five years is too long or short a time to keep in mind the ability we own to make our love flesh and bone. I'm not trying to scare you, but I see life in your belly, souls in your eyes, and with every one of your moans and cries, I feel that life growing. It's abstract, undefined. A marvellous mishmash of miraculous ideas without a single cell to its name. It was just a suggestion. I've realised everything is potential. The aptitude for action. I'm already a parent. There may be no small hand grabbing my little finger, but I have a responsibility now to linger and work out how I'm going to provide anything. There is no better feeling than knowing I am keeping you safe. I am keeping you warm. I am keeping you fed. I am keeping you well. Now... The pious among you will tell me that I'm not allowed to keep you. But I say that I am proud that come what may, I will fight tooth and nail to keep you. Because what I say is true, that possession is no bad thing. People aren't objects, I'm not blind. But as soon as that birth certificate is signed, I will respond in kind to any attempt made on that life we currently catch in latex and discard. So what do you say? You want to give this a try? That was poem four of 100 poems in 100 days. And just in case my parents are watching, or Amy's parents, uh, not to be taken literally. Okay? Bye. I'll see you soon.